I think it's unfortunate that a lot of Asian Americans don't know who Vincent Chen is. What's the first thing that you think of when you hear of Vincent Chen? Painful. Tragic. Oh, hate crimes. Injustice. Sorry, who is that? Who? Uh, I actually have never heard of Vincent Chen. Forgotten? It was the day before his wedding, and he was just trying to have a good time, maybe get a drink. He's this young Chinese-American guy. These two white guys. Uh, Ronald Evans and Michael Nitz noticed him and, you know, Vincent was being a little rambunctious, obnoxious, because it was drunk. Come on, it's your bachelor party. Witnesses overheard one of them say to Vincent Chin, it's because you motherfuckers were out of work. They had this idea that Japan was taking over the American economy. He's referring to uh, U.S. auto jobs being lost to Japanese manufacturers. Um, Vincent Chin is Chinese-American. The two guys ended up fighting him in the strip club. Then. They got broken up. The fight spills out into the street. And they got a bat and hit him in the head four times. He dies of a coma a couple days later. His wedding date changed into a, a funeral date. Ronald Evans and Michael Nitz, they, they basically get off with a slap on the wrist. Nothing happened to them. They didn't go to jail at all. They would have been uh, more harshly punished if they killed the dog. It was just like, mm, whatever, all right. This guy's dead. You guys seem like good guys. It's okay. Your pain around your economic insecurity and you wanting to project that onto this Asian man is justified. I do remember that the Asian American community was galvanized after this occurred. For the first time ever, I mean, you really see this activism swell up from across Asian American communities. It reminds me of all the crimes that are happening now against the Muslim community and against the South Asian community. You have people who are being stabbed just for speaking Arabic. As Asian Americans, a lot of people don't get to learn that lesson or even know this history is a tragedy to me, not just the tragedy of Vincent Chin being murdered. I don't think any of the generation that's after me or even, <laughs> even my generation uh, knows about Vincent Chin because we're not educated. Maybe it's just because we're known as the model minority and we just sweep a lot of things under the rug. I'm sure he looks like people in my community and I've, I've never heard of him. Vincent's sort of like me. I'm kind of mad at myself that I didn't really know that. I should know about him. I should know about what people face, immigrants face, when they came here to start a new life. And we need to remember the past to make sure that it doesn't happen in the present. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and then click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.